this video is about comparison operators, all right? Uh, comparison operators, operators in Python, okay? So what is a comparison operator? Well, we'll go to the Python documentation. And I don't see it straight away, so I'm going to do on the keyboard Control F, and up here I'm going to type in com comparison. There we go, and it snaps to the area that I want. So comparisons. Unlike C, all comparison operations in Python have the same priority, which is lower than that of any arithmetic shifting or bitwise. Blah blah. blah. All right, I don't really get that, but I do get these pictures, and that's what I want to talk about. So I'm going to go to GCSECS -E and click on the hit there, GCSECS.com, hover over contact more and then click on code editor. Okay, so I'm going to just move the partition across and trash these comments that I'm not interested in. So let's get into comparison operators. I'll just print the string Comparison operators. Make sure I spell that right, it looks all right. So I'm going to make a variable, just call it a number, a number, and I'll set that to 10. And second, uh, second number, and I'll set that to 20. Okay, so now on this line, I'll just do uh, a variable called compare. And I'm going to equal that to, or I'm going to set it to a number and then second number. But I'm leaving a gap because I want something to go in the middle. So here is a list of the comparison operators. Stolen straight out of the math universe, we've got that which is called greater than. The next one, which is the opposite of that, is that which is less than. If you always, if you're one of those people that confuse them, just I just think that helps. It looks a lot like an L t turned on its side a little bit, a little bit rotated. So that's less than. So greater than, less than, and then equal to. All right. Now in computer, in, in Python coding, the single equals we know is used for initializing a variable. But if you want the comparison operator of equals, then it's equals equals in Python. Python uses equals equals. And then you've got uh, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. And finally, this one, exclamation mark equals. Have a guess what that means. The answer is, well, it means not equal to, okay? So this is equal to on line 10, but this on line 13 means not equal to, okay? So let's have a play around with those. Let's just put the first one greater than right there. And then I want to print whatever the result is. I'm just going to highlight, compare, control C, go to my brackets, control V. So let's look at my code. It's going to display comparison operators. I've got a number which is set to 10. I've got a second number which is set to 20. Then I'm going to compare. I want to see if a number, which is 10, is greater than the second number, which is 20. Let's see what's displayed. False. Well, yes, 10 is not greater than 20. So the answer is false. That makes perfect sense. What if I change the symbol to that, which is less than. 10 is less than 20. Let's see if that's what happens. True. Well, good. It is true that 10 is in fact less than 20. Let's switch it for is the same as. Well, 10 is not the same as 20. So hopefully I should see false. Let's run that. False. Absolutely correct. 10 is not the same as 20. Uh, let's go with um, greater than or equal. Well, I'm hoping to see false because 10 is not greater than or equal to 20. Let's have a look. False, good. Well, let's switch it to less than or equal because 10 is definitely less than 20. 
and that's true. And how about um, not equal to? Well, 10 is definitely not equal to 20, so I'd expect to see true. Let's have a look. And there it is, true. So that's it. What we've just done is we've run through all of the comparison operators in a very simple way, just so you can see that number one, they exist. Number two, that there are lots of different kinds. And number three, how they work, okay? Um, so what I'd like you to do is have a go at this task. Here's the task. So it's called Comparison Operators Password Verification. Number one, display the title Password Verification. So just make a title. Number two, create a variable that asks the user to input their password. Okay, so we've got a couple of bits here, including the word input. Number three, create a variable that asks the user to input their password again. In fact, the keyword here is different variable. All right, create a different variable and input. Number four, create a, ver uh, create a variable that checks that the two passwords entered are the same, okay? Sounds to me like you might need to use a comparison operator there. I'm not sure which one. Number five, add two or more comments that describe your code. And number six, make sure your code works. Okay, so if you're not sure about variables, you need to check my video on that because you need to know about variables. If you're not sure about how to use input, you need to see my video on that because you're clearly gonna use input. And if you're not sure about comments, then please look at my video on that because you really need to know about comments. So have a go at that. Here comes the answer in three, two, one. All right, here we go. So I've set up a few bits just to make this as clear as possible. There we go. Let's just drag that over a little bit. Okay, so as always, Got my comments at the box. Uh, I can just tie that up there, that's fine. So the name is password verification. The purpose is to confirm a password is entered correctly. The author is GCSE CS, and it's created on the 11th of August, 2020. Uh, you don't need any modules or functions. Let's have a go, let's see if it works, and then we'll talk through the code. Okay, so it says, Enter password, let's say AAA. Re enter password, AAA. Oh, and I said password verification is true. Okay, because they are the same password. Let's run it again. AAA, BBB. Password verification is false, which means you've not entered the same password twice. So, what we're doing is we've recreated the code that you would have used if you ever have a Facebook or Instagram or whatever or email. When you sign up for these things, they always ask you to pick a username and then pick a password and the password has to be entered twice to verify that you've entered the, the correct password that you were thinking of in the first place. So let's go through the code. So line one to nine is just comments to introduce the code. And the same with line 11. Line 13 is the print function that displays the title password verification. Line 15 is a comment that says the user enters the password twice, which is what happens on line 16 and 17. So line 16 is the first variable that asks for the, uh, for the password to be entered. And line 17 is a second different variable that also asks for the same password to be entered again or re-entered. Line 19 is a, uh, a comment that is checking to see if the password's match, match, so it's describing what line 20 does. Line 20 uses a comparison operator to see if the first password is in fact the same as the second password. And the answer to that is put in the variable called checking. And line 21 is just uh, a line of code that displays whether checking is true or false, whether the passwords match or do not match. And that's it, that's the comparison operators.